will end the wake of the largest E. coli outbreak in our state's history. Scientists are searching for new ways to protect our food. And the answer may be something as simple as a piece of cloth. In our continuing series on the science of the small, we see how nanotechnology is being used to create a new super cloth. Well, conventional fabric made from ordinary fiber is one thing. Then there's nanofiber. A nanofiber is about one five hundredth of a human hair. With new nanotechnology techniques, scientists are exploring uses for the microscopic material. Well, as the diameter of the fiber gets smaller and smaller, then a given weight of fiber has more and more surface. It causes the fabrics to become more absorbent, and also it gives us a lot of surface area where we can capture and detect biohazards. University researcher Margaret Frey is creating a super cloth that could be used in a number of ways, like detecting harmful bacteria like salmonella with a single swipe. There's places where contamination is a critical issue that needs to be identified very rapidly. So if you have a hospital room that's had a contagious patient in it, perhaps the supervisor of the cleaning crew could go through behind them, sample all the surfaces, and confirm that they're no longer able to detect sepsis or pneumonia, possibly quality control in food packaging. You could work out a system for sampling surfaces and then confirming that, oh, you know, we've got some form of E. coli present, or no, we don't. The research team wants the fabric to reveal a bright color on detection of a hazard, something almost anyone can use. Having a rapid yes-no response and the possibility that this could be done by just the general public is another goal for this project. By incorporating nanotechnology, we've got something that's very portable, able to do a lot of work on a very little piece of fabric, the end of a Q-tip, something like this. Science of the small that researchers say could someday make our lives just a little healthier.